Good day. Good to be back with you. And I've got my Bible in hand. And I want to take really the next seven segments of these devotionals and address the gospel. And one passage in particular, uh, 1 Timothy 3.16, which uh, is a place where we see uh, part of an early Christian hymn, an early Christian song, and it's in six parts. So there's six key words that really summarize the gospel. So what I want to give you, uh, quite simply, over the next seven segments, is the gospel in six parts, the gospel in six words. And so let's just dive in. I'm going to read to you not just 1 Timothy 3.16, but 14 and 15 as well. Give a little bit of the context, okay? So here's what, Timothy, here's what Paul says to Timothy. I hope to come to you soon, but I'm writing these things to you so that if I delay, you may know how one ought to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, a pillar and buttress of the truth. Now, just that can take us you know, a lifetime plumbing the depths of that beautiful truth. But the idea that Paul is saying to Timothy is, I want you to know how to lead, how to interact in the church, the household of God. And you'll notice what it says, that the church is the pillar and support of the truth. We are to stand for the truth. We are to align with the truth. We are to cling to the truth. And then he says in verse 16, and this is the heart of where we're going to be uh, residing for seven segments. Great indeed, we confess, is the mystery of godliness. And then he launches into these six words. But in this first segment, let me just talk about the mystery of godliness. And what does that mean? And then in the following six, we'll look at those actual six words. So great indeed, we confess. First of all, when, when he says we confess, that means this is something that every Christian absolutely agrees with. Uh, this is universally accepted by Christians. That We confess it. It is a great mystery. And a mystery here is not something you can't understand. It's something that you now can understand. It's something that was hidden in the Old Testament and now revealed in the New Testament in Christ. So when he, when he says the mystery of godliness, that's something that was previously hidden that God has revealed. And, and he says it's a mystery of godliness. Um, godliness refers to the truth of salvation, okay? That's why these the gospel will be in six words here. And in this song, in this hymn uh, that the early church sang, uh, they were rehearsing the gospel, just like you and I want to sing robust uh, biblical songs that rehearse the gospel and thrill our souls with, with those truths. But the godliness is this manifestation of a true and perfect righteousness of Christ uh, that you have in Christ. And it shows itself out in love for God. And I guess I just want to end there today, is that it shows itself out in love for God. The reason we sing a song like this, the reason we want to know the gospel, because we love him because he first loved us, 1 John 4, 19, uh, that God initiated toward us in saving grace and in mercy uh, so that we might be saved. And that's the true uh, hope of every believer. I hope you're a believer today. I hope you're trusting in the finished work of Christ. And I'll see you again next time as we look at these six words uh, that encapsulate the gospel. Let me pray for you. Lord, thank you for this time uh, to get into the word and to See your truth. Thank you for the mysteries that you have revealed, that you have revealed to us, saving uh, grace in the gospel. And Lord, our souls uh, rejoice uh, because of your goodness. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.